I want to first show you an example of a precipitation reaction, and then we're going to talk about how do you know that a precipitate actually forms. So I'm dropping aqueous copper 2 sulfate, CuSO4, into aqueous sodium hydroxide, NaOH. And you see that there's a solid forming, that blue solid. And it's awesome when it makes those little rings there. That's our precipitate. Two aqueous solutions, and we form a solid. Here's what the reaction looks like. We have our two aqueous solutions. Everything's dissolved at this point. We mix them together. Then we get Na2SO4. That's aqueous. It's still dissolved. But that CuOH2, copper 2 hydroxide, that S, that means it's a solid. That's our precipitate. The question you should be asking, though, is how do we know which one's going to be a solid? For that, we need to look at solubility. So the first way we can check solubility is look at the solubility rules. There's links at the end of this video to help you with that. We go down and most hydroxide salts, that's the OH there, they're only slightly soluble. A little bit will dissolve. So that's what we saw. The CuOH2 really didn't dissolve. It was insoluble. The other way is look at a solubility chart. Here we just find the positive ion, that's the copper 2 ion, and then the hydroxide, the negative ion, we go across, down, I. That means it's insoluble and we're going to have a solid. And that solid falls to the bottom of the beaker as a precipitate. So the key here is when we have two compounds react and we form an insoluble compound, that'll be the precipitate. This is Dr. B and thanks for watching.